So, you came. Sorry for bringing you out here. What did you want to tell me? It's about your father, Chairman Joe Sumeragi. <gasps> you know that Kasane didn't kill him. I was the one who killed the chairman. It was you? That's right. I killed him. I'm sorry I didn't tell you until now. Why? Why would you do that? How could you kill my father? <sighs> Answer me! I had no hatred for the chairman. It was for myself. I guess self-defense is a better word for it. I mean, my power is perfect for assassination. I'm sort of in charge of that kind of work. Stop it! Tell me everything! What do you think I'm doing? I'm telling you because I feel bad. I know you can't forgive me, of course. So, what do you want me to do? If you tell me to leave, I'll go. So that's how you want to do this? Yes, it is. That's the kind of guy I am, after all. Fine. You have your ways of doing things, and I have mine. Oh, so that's how it is. You don't really want to do this now, do you, kid? <laughs> you really want to fight? Fight me, Kagero! Don't think I'm playing around! Damn, where are you? If that's how you want it, then I won't hold back! Good. Show me what you've got. Won't go easy. You won't get away. Damn it. Damn it. Get ready. Huh? You won't get away! Damn it! You're serious! Where are you? Get ready! Damn it! Come on! You're serious! You won't get away! Get ready! You won't get away! Damn it!
That is... Time out, Yurito, okay? I know you want to kill me, but wait a sec. If I die now, the 2,000 years of things I did for her will all be for nothing! <laughs> About time you told me the truth. Kagero. What? You... you knew? I knew you wouldn't tell me the truth if I didn't do this. And I did actually want to beat you up. Are you... serious? Boy, do I look dumb right now. You'll tell me the truth now, won't you? Yeah. Yuito, Kagero! Did we interrupt you? Kagura, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. 
My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The Moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment, to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the Moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown. But the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan, and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the moon put plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the Moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The Moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the Moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that, I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal, if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah. Okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. 
But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. 